The land of Hyrule is changing. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I feel it in the air. I feel a rock in my shoe. Anyway, much that was, still is, because everyone is still alive. It began with Hyrule being created and the forging of the Triforce. The land of Hyrule was created by three goddesses. Chick One, Chick Two, and Louise. When they finished the land, they departed for the heavens and left behind a treasure known as the Triforce, which contained the power to rule and govern all. The Triforce was hidden by the goddesses in a graveyard, but no one knew this, and its incredible power easily corrupted those who sought for it. The races of Hyrule fought in an epic war against each other to claim the Triforce for their race to be the ruling race. But there was a problem. No one even knew where the hell the Triforce was. Except for a little grave digger who found it. The creature that was called Dumpy was taken over by the Triforce, and it poisoned his mind. Dumpy plans on keeping the Triforce forever. Dumpy's plans changed when the King of the Hylians found the Triforce right on his front porch. the Hylians entrusted the Triforce to a man named Raru, who built the Temple of Time, which was a portal to the Sacred Realm, where he hid the Triforce from the greed of all Hyrule. Years passed without anyone in Hyrule finding it, and no king rose above all kings. The evil king Ganondorf of the Gerudos found it in the Sacred Realm and used it to turn the world into a wasteland of dread for seven years. Ganondorf took the Triforce and in the fires of Death Mountain he made it vile and dark by forging his malice to it. Ganondorf also creates a Triforce of his own. His was one that would do no power except deceive the one who found it. To ensure his victory, Ganondorf had kidnapped the Princess Zelda of the Hylians, the only other person known to have ever seen the Triforce. He did so in an attempt to show everyone that he was supreme ruler. Little did he know that a boy named Link would travel through time to stop him. Link fought Ganondorf and claimed the Triforce as his own. Ganondorf, thinking Link should have been dead, had a heart attack and died. Or so they say. Now, Link and Zelda are prepared to marry. But Raru comes and warns Link that the Triforces have a connection with Ganondorf and are keeping his spirit alive. Afraid of anyone getting a hold of the Triforces, Link hid them in the Lost Woods near the Kokiri village where he grew up, so that they would never be recovered again.
Or so he thought. A Kokiri child named Bilcho discovered the Triforces one day within the woods and kept them a secret. And the time would soon come when Kokiris would shape the fortunes of all. That, that means everyone. Ah, uh, hey Raru, good to see you. Yeah, how you doing? How are the kids? You know what? I, I don't care. Get the hell out of here. Uh, what? Yeah, you heard me. What? You wanna make something of it? Come on, come on, get out. Come on, come, on, come down from the cart. What? What? I thought so. I have no time for this. You shall pay. I don't want any guests at the moment. <laughs> so I guess I should leave then. <laughs> I know that laugh anywhere. Come in, Raru. <laughs> Oh, it's so wonderful to see you, Raru. <laughs> My old friend. So, how are things? <laughs> All's well. Oh, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. So, nice that you can make it out to my party. <laughs> Bill True, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Screw you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, booty. <laughs> oh, yeah, shame. I can see it in your eyes. You gonna tap that. Come on. <laughs> go get her. Come on, go. Yeah, get it. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Perry, he's gone. Let's go. Now's right. our chance. Let's get the fireworks. <laughs> Alright, Perry, find a big one. I'm looking, I'm looking. Bigger. Okay. Have you got one, Perry? Uh, I've got one oh, for you. Crikey, that's not big. Hide it in your pants, Perry. I don't think I have enough room. Oi, Perry, did you read the instruction manual? Nippin, I don't think I have to. I, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, just torch it. Come on. Alright. Didn't it explode? I don't know, you tell me! Alright. What do you call that? I don't know, but I've it's not seen good. Better, stupid, hippies. Lame! Oh, that was good. I think I soiled myself. Oh, you might get to get that fixed. It wasn't me, did it? <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> Bilcho should make a speech, but I don't want to hear a speech. Oh, speech! That's a great idea! Speech! Speech! Oh, 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 like speech! I don't want to hear a speech! Shut up! Now, here's the part where Uncle Bilcho gets up and makes a speech. Uh, Hope he's not drunk this year. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Rock on, Shane. He really is drunk. All right. <laughs> this will be good. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Bill Chosen. Yay, Peach has arrived. I still don't like speeches. I don't want to hear one. I'm anti-speech. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. My friends and foes, and my nephew, and uh, my hey, hey. old hey, hey. friend Raru. <laughs> Today is my 13th birthday. <laughs> At least that I've celebrated. I'm actually much older, really. <laughs> anyway, that means it's my bar mitzvah, and I've finally become an adult. <laughs> At least to, uh, Kokiri standards. Now, I know little more than half of you, and I like less than half of you than I know, <laughs> so keep that in mind. <laughs> but, uh, things, things are very strange lately. I feel old and I need to get out. So, this is my last time in the Kokiri Forest, and I bid you all a very Fondue. Goodbye. What the Whoa. hell is going on? That was weird. Ooh. Oh, that was lots of fun. <laughs> Oh, I don't need these anymore. Mm -hmm. I guess my dog will have fun with them. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, old home. Mm -hmm. Time to go. <laughs> Bill sure I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, that was hilarious. But, Raru, uh, make sure my dog gets everything here. And I'll see you later on in the movie, I guess. <laughs> well. See ya! <laughs> Have a safe trip! <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, good question. <laughs> Go to the inn at Clocktown. There I will be waiting for you. Where are you going? I must seek my closest advisor, Aganim. He is a wise wizard who might know what to do. Oh, and Mido? Yeah? Keep the Triforces safe and, and never touch them. Oh, and don't let anyone know that you have them. Sham is the only other person that can know. Why? It's part of the bet. Okay. Alright then, I'm off. <laughs> and you should be too. Follow the Lost Woods three miles south and take a ride until you hit clock down. And stay under the name Bubbly Wubbly. Okay. Let's go. Yay! Uh, no, 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 no time. Uh. I think we're lost, Mr. Mido. Are you sure you went the right way? Uh, don't worry about it, Sham. J just keep up and shut up. I'm just worried, that's all. Well, you see, Sham, it's like my Uncle Bill Jello always told me. <laughs> if you keep walking, make sure your eyes are wide open, or else those pesky trees tend to lob out at you. <laughs> that's what he used to say. What's that got to do with anything? Uh, forget it. Aganem, good to see you. I'm sorry, old friend. Sorry for what? I've betrayed you. I have turned to the dark side. Do you mean... Yes, I have sided with Ganon, and so should you. <laughs> I'm not evil. Okie dokie. Are you sure we're at last, Mr. Mido? Are you sure you know how to shut the hell up after I've told you? Sorry. I think we're close to clock time. You see, there's a shortcut. What was I saying, huh? Well, I think we're almost there. RUN! What the hell was that all about? I don't know, Mr. Meadow. Happened. Well, we were just picking some of the farmer's crops. More like spilling it. Yeah, he wasn't too happy. <laughs> okay, well, let's get out of here like now. There's something or other. Well, 
I'm sure it's nothing to fuss about. He sure is pissy. Tell me about it. I think we're getting closer. Oh, huh? Well, aren't you a genius? This place looks torn apart. Why don't they just burn it down? The service is horrible, too. Best me not complain, just it, Mr. Mido. Oh, hello, little boys. We're not boys, lady. We're Kokiris. Now, where's Raru at? He was supposed to meet us here. Uh, um, Raru? Hmm, isn't he the, uh... The really fat, red, bald guy? You can't miss him. Now, come on, where is he? Yeah, that's him. Um, to be honest, I haven't seen him in a week or two. Maybe over the month. Who knows? Well, all right. Maybe he just hasn't shown up yet. I need a room. Sure, what's your name? Remember, Mr. Mido? Uh, my name is Bubbly Wubbly. Alright, Mr. Wubbly, if you wait in the lobby here, your room should be ready at 5.30. Enjoy your stay. This sucks. I hope Raru shows up so we don't actually have to stay here. Are you okay, Mr. Meadow? Why, look, there I've got a shot of the finest brew in Clocktown. Oh, really? I've got more than a pint. Crikey, that's a big one! In the corner there. He's been staring at you awful funny all night. Mr. Mido, I'd watch out for them strangers if I were you. Shut up, Sham. Uh, oh, oh. He really is checking me out. I'm not like that, buddy! Hey, you hear me, buddy? I don't fly that way, so whatever you're looking at before, just cut it out. I'm not checking you out, Mido. No, 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 man. My, my name is Bubbly Wubbly. Indeed. Well, no, it, it's not, but, but how do you know my real name? Never mind that. We have to leave. It's not safe here. Who are you, anyway? I go by Schneider. Like Rob Schneider? Uh, yeah, I guess. Dude, you're my favorite actor! Uh, okay, but we have to leave soon if you want to make it out alive. What do you mean? What's going on here, Mr. Mido? Is he messing with you? I'll fight him for you, Mr. Mido. Ah, uh, you're brave, young Sham, but we really have to get a move on. Why? What's happening? I'm afraid if we wait for too much longer, we could be killed. Well, I'm up for leaving. Who else? Me! Hey! You had a nice stay. Oh, well, see ya. Oh, your room is already up, but I hope like What? This job is really losing its magnetism. Did you see a young boy with a Triforce or two come through here? I don't recall seeing one, or two for that matter. Oh, well, you're a lot of him! Where are we going? A place where we can rest for the night. To your door. Ah, here we are. We can stage up for just the night. <laughs> second thought, let's get out of here. Uh, but I thought... Move! <laughs> bit of water. So let's go around it. It's not that simple. <laughs> Take this, you fools! Let's get moving fast. Don't worry, Miss Mato, it'll be okay. Oh, shut your face. Oh, 
Mr. Link? Aye. What do you want? I need to get this guy in there so your father can heal him. He's Bye. fading. I suppose I shouldn't let the crowd in though. What? Oh, alright. Come on in. I'm getting cold and dark and... Ah! Who am I? What time is it? Where am I? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Don't worry. You're Mido. You're fine. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and you're in the house of Elroy Smith, better known as King Zora. Raru, what happened? Where were you, you late bastard? <laughs> well, Mido, you don't wait to start being rude. Anyway, I got caught in traffic. The traffic of evil! My closest advisor, Aghanim, has turned to evil, and he wanted me to join with him. Join with me! But I decided to create a diversion and get out of there. What's that? Where? I've been had. Again. <laughs> and I hopped a flight on the Owl Express. Oh, I see Mr. Mato was doing better. Maru, I just wanted to remind you of the council meeting. It's in ten minutes. See ya. Damn, he's fat. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was fat. But anyway, you better come to the meeting too, so get dressed and I'll see you in a bit. Mr. Mido, I knew you'd pull through. I knew it. Get off me! Mido! Good to see you. You're doing well, Mido. Yes, you look healthy! Mm -hmm. I do, my boy. It's been a while since I left, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Good to see you! Hooray for Mido's well-being! Hooray! Interesting sword. Maybe we could use it against the legions of evil! Ooh, somebody's coming. Oh, is Sting still around? Ooh, Link! Oh, crap. Hey, Link, why don't you love me? Because I love Zelda. Well, why don't we just try to date? Ew, no! Come on! I'll pass, thank you very much. But I love you! Ah! <laughs> it's meeting time. We are here for one purpose. As everyone probably knows, the draft force has been found. Now, the Triforce is the only thing that keeps the wisdom, power, and courage of Hyrule together. In essence, it is the very centerpiece of Hyrule, and was created to bind us together in peace. Ganon, however, left its mark on it, and if we don't remove it, the Triforce will never again be used for the good of Hyrule. It will feed off of the greed and corruption of this land and the balance of Hyrule. Blah blah blah, you get the idea. So anyone got any thoughts? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So these things are like important? <laughs> yes, Mido. Cool. Can we blow it up somehow and get it off maybe? No, this won't be simple. We need to think of how it can be reversed. Uh, didn't that beginning prologue say... Well, what if we like hit it with a rock? A big rock! Oh, Michael, that would just break the rock. Well, what if we use the Triforce as it is? We must be able to destroy the enemy that way. No, it would only poison your mind, not help you. I disagree. We could wield it and make all sorts of things to go against the will of Ganondorf and his minions. You cannot wield it. None of us can. Why should I listen to this supposed actor, Rob Schneider? Your movies are lame. That's no actor, dude. That's Link. He's the one who, like, saved Hyrule, like, 15 times already. What? Link? That little ingrate that you slid in the forest? That bastard owes me five rupees. Calm down, Mido. We need to come up with a way to remove the dark force of the tri-force. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. 
cheap bastard. Maybe I could roll over it. Perhaps it would crack off. Meh. Wait, in the opening sequence it said that Ganon... <laughs> Maybe we could all stare at it really hard. <laughs> Great idea, Raru. Oh, I, I was kidding. There must be a way. Is anyone listening to me? Perhaps if we use string cheese to make sort of a, of a long rope and propel it off a large cliff of some sort. Hello? I think we should place it in a nest of bees and let it get stung a lot. Hey, Couldn't we like get a plunger and plunge the evil out of it? That's what Super Mario does. I'm talking here! Let's cast a spell on it and see if it goes away. Everyone, just shut the hell up and let me speak! Thank you. Now, in the opening sequence of this movie, the narrator made it perfectly clear that Ganon took it to Death Mountain and somehow forged it the way it is. I think he did it with a fire or something. Yes, the fires of Death Mountain. Of course. Why in the bloody hell didn't I think of that? Because you're all retarded and I'm the only person that makes any sense. <laughs> well, Mido, you sure are right. How are we supposed to get it there? One of you must take it. Whoa, dude. I'm out. I could never imagine a Zora carrying a Triforce. Rubbish. No, it'd be rubbish if a Goron took the Triforce. <laughs> I couldn't see a Sage with the Triforce either. Whatever a Sage is, we begin with our I, I would never trust a corrupt Hylian like yourself with it. Oh, oh, what you going, You know what? This is just pathetic. Roru, if I take it, how about tripling that wager we had? You already owe me double the original price, so this would just be a little extra. And everyone can just shut the hell up for a minute. <laughs> Mido, I think somewhere deep down beneath all that hate, greed, and lust, and everything else, you have some heart. <laughs> of course I'll triple it. I don't have a heart, I just want money. <laughs> well, I will show you the way, Mido. So what's it? Mido, you'll bear the trap for us. Haru, the sage shall show you the way. <laughs> This man isn't going anywhere without me by his side. Oh, really? Well then, you seem to be Mado's love slave. We'll let you go along too. Think this big fish there? Love slave? Why oh, yeah, I'm coming along with it. Oh, so uh, we have more of you, do we? Okay. Two of Mado's buddies. We might as well go along with it. Whether or not I like you, I'll protect you. Oh boy, thanks a handful, Link. I hope you die. The hero of time and everything else. I guess you should go too. I hope you too, dude. And the Zora. I can roll along too. And the Goron. Well, I might as well join the party since nothing's going on at the house. And the Bushwhacker. You're all very special. You should be called the Fellowship of the Triforce. Hooray for y'all! Have a wonderful trip. Drop me a line sometime. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you. I'm gonna go eat some fried chicken. Well, where's Uncle Bilcho? Right here, my dear. I brought you something. Oh, goody. This is a sword I used back in my time when I went on many adventures like yours. <laughs> It glows from the moblin is close by, so watch out. Right. And this is a nice arm I use too. It's pretty thick, so don't worry about being stabbed again. <laughs> right. Oh, is that Arthur? Yes. Are they, those are the Triforces I used to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I touch it. I I would just want to. Uh uh uh. Sorry, I had one of my episodes again.
got the love I need Maybe more than enough Oh, darling, darling, darling Walk a while with me Oh, you got so much So much Try this so off for size, Raul, abominable snowman of death. Attack! Just destroy the bridge with dynamite. How does that sound? stand a chance to begin with. Oh dear. I've dropped my stuff. Well everyone, it's been fun! <laughs> See you later! before more enemies approach. I can't believe it! Now I'll never get my money! Damn it! Wait, unless I complete the task. Maybe I can get everyone to pay me separately. That would mean more money than Raru could have ever paid me! We better keep moving, guys! Raru dying doesn't mean we have to stop going! Cry a river, build a bridge, and get over it. Come on, let's go! Cry babies. Getting close to Lake Hylia. There she is. What is that 
the lake over there. It's the Lady Zora and Lord Jabba Jabba emerging from the deep. Dim, the Triforce has kept Ganon alive, and the time has grown nigh that he will soon again return. That didn't make any sense at all, lady. We have gifts for the Fellowship. We bring gifts of bread and things, but tell me, where is Raru, the Sage of Light? He has fallen. If you ask me, it looked like he jumped in. To you, Sham, I give a grappling hook made by the Rito tribe. You, Kokiris, I give the razor sword, forged by the blacksmith of Kakariko village. To you, Maiku, I give a crossbow which you will find attaches to your wrist for better accuracy of your shooting scales. To the Goron, I give you a hair of my chinny chin chin. Maido, I give to you a mini maglite, the brightest one forged in Hyrule. I give you the fierce deity's mask. Only use it in a time of desperation when all your power, wisdom, and courage has ceased. This will be towards the end of the trilogy. You'll know when. Now wait. What the hell do I get? Take these gifts and go. You can use these boats to cross the river up through Gerudo Valley. Go now and destroy the evil that is Ganon. Let's go up the river. Hey, is this really that bright? Statues of more distant relatives, the former heroes of Hyrule. They were all named Link too. Wow, that's spectacular! Not really. You know, Mido, we could still use those Triforces for a good cause. We could go now and bring it to my father back in Hyrule Market. Whatever, dude. Just give it to me. I'll take it to my father myself. No, don't hit me. Don't even touch me. Ah! He's trying to hurt me. Go away, you bad man. Mr. Mido. Jeez, you don't have to be such a drama queen about it. <laughs> I don't get what's so important about this thing.
Nardo, you cannot linger here. Do you want this thing? No, I can't handle it. You're the only one good, or enough, or the only one that can contain the power without being overtaken. You must now cross the river and don't look back. Wait, if I do this, promise me you'll have everyone pay me everything they have. I'm not taking one step until I know I'm getting paid good. <sighs> Fine, I'll give you any amount of the land, but you have to hurry to Death Mountain. Go! <laughs> See ya! Lost them. Maybe not. Five hundred rupees? That's a fortune. All the ladies, I could have everything. I could buy the entire forest. I could own everyone's souls. <laughs> Whoa, no, that's a bit much, but yes, yes, you could. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Fatty. I've had enough of you. But I have to go with you, Mr. Mato. You can't go all by yourself. Fine, get in. You're gonna have to pay me extra, though. Whatever works, Mr. Mido, whatever works. Dudes, 
Mido and Sam went over the river. They've got to do it alone from here on. We failed. The fellowship is no good now. Well, we could still save Perry and Mippin, right? I suppose. Oh, rock! Well, here we come, Death Mountain. Hooray! It's not a good thing, you idiot. Well, I'm just glad to be with you, Mr. Mato. Good for you. Selling some food to him Yeah, you're selling your soul to him And he's had a real bad day His rage is spilling right over the ground You didn't do anything wrong Yet he's roaring like he's King Kong He wants to see the man in jail anger is frightfully strong, you know that He'll find a way, he'll find a way He'll find a way to bring the wrath of God He'll find a way, he'll find a way He'll find a way to threaten the wrath of God Yelling, it seems legit The fact is you've done nothing wrong All that's coming out of his mouth is shit He'll find a way He'll find a way He'll find a way to threaten the wrath of God He'll find a way He'll find a way He'll find a way to threaten the wrath of God oh. He's never gonna shop here again You think that's alright That's just fine by me No, he'll never shop here again But you'll see him again He'll be back next week He'll find a way, he'll find a way, he'll find a way to threaten the wrath of God. He'll find a way, he'll find a way, he'll find a way to threaten the wrath.